everybody! It is Emma T and Vela. Emma T here in the middle of a heat wave, feeling hot, hot and tired, but but still doing improv. That's the way. And Vela feeling cool and calm and collected. Uh, yeah. Is it? Okay. So uh, now, as I pick up this selection here of high wire improv cards, they're available. To put, oh, and just advertising high wire here, but the high wire are great. Um, yeah, thumbs up for high wire. Uh, but I'm going to use them today to uh, just uh, select a word that Bela and I will work on our improv set from. But oh, Bela, I will need you to say the word stop. Stop. And the word is powerful. 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 Well, it's come to this. A battle of the two weakest people in the country. I believe that my power is, uh, I'm probably going to um, kick in any moment, and I will beat you. And uh, that oh wait, that makes me the the second least powerful person on earth. I I I guess the battle is for who is the weakest. Um, <laughs> I've <clears throat> already beaten you. If you are confused about your powers, I I I know that my power is completely non-existent so so i think i've won already oh no no i i was simply just trying to confuse you in oh, a no. power vortex um, oh no and it, it has worked good good that makes me the least powerful and my power is negative we 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 i've never heard of the power vortex so you succeeded in confusing me but now I'm unconfused. I think you, you don't know, have even a power vortex, or there's no such thing. Well, yes, there's no such thing. But I invented the power vortex, um, and it confused you. And now, now I'm confused, which makes me the least powerful. No, I was confused before you. No, I I was confused. I'm confused right now. I was confused at who was confused first, so that's quite confusing. Did, did your this thing that you invented, the power of vortex? Did you did you even really invent something, or were you just confused that you invented something? Now you say it, I, I, I don't think the power of vortex. The well, well. Well, well, power vortex, power vortex initiating. Um, wait, uh, wait, 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 power wait, vortex wait. initiating. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You say you invented a power vortex, but you're just spinning around yourself. Are you, are you pretending to be a power vortex? Power vortex. Finished wait. initiating power vortex. I'm so Spinning. confused. Power I, no, no, you've got me in your power, power vortex, vortex power. No, no. You were so weak, you fell straight into the power vortex. That means that I... Oh, wait, no, that makes you weaker than me. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yes. Ah! I'm so weak, I'm following your stupid power vortex oh, no. that doesn't exist. Oh, no. Oh, I guess there can only be one winner. Who? Who gets to decide who the winner is? The power vortex. Oh no! no. I got the power vortex. I'm, I'm gonna be too nauseous to win. <laughs> I died. Yes, the weakest person on earth. <laughs> no, I died, so I'm weaker. Except for I'm dead. I just died too. Oh, no. I, not only am I dead, but I have more double chins than you. Ah! 
I win. Hmm. Slim pickings down there on the ground for vultures such as us. Merely weaklings. Not enough meat for us to survive. Even, but, even their bones are weak and not tasty. Looks like they've been in some kind of power vortex. The, the way that there's a spinning circle surrounding them and and their arms are just flailing out in, in different directions. Ah, uh, yes, I've seen this before. A power vortex used in a battle between their gladiator warriors. But somehow it leaves just lots of flab and dead bodies. Flabby dead bodies. Well, there's enough for one of us to have our dinner tonight. The, the other may need to starve. Well... I guess that means that we need to battle. Well, yes. Um, I, I mean, the, the weakest of us would surely die, and then the, the strongest of us uh, would then eat the loser and the, the human losers from the power vortex. It's disappointing because I considered you not only a friend, but also my wife. <laughs> Oh, my dear husband, the, the time we spent together prior to this moment was the best times of my bird-like life. I... Re remember that bone we sucked on together? I think it was a, it was a hippo toe bone. It was, it was magical. The way our beady, bulging eyes met as our beaks just pushed together as we ate the last part of the, all the metatarsals we've eaten over the years. I, I just, oh, the, the memories are flooding back to me now. Do you remember when I, I regurgitated in your mouth on our first bone eating? Oh, that was a magical moment. Oh. And some of it spilled over my beak, but you picked it back up and then put that back in my mouth. It was, oh. And I'm really sorry that, that when I, I tried to put it back in your mouth, I actually picked up some of something that had come out of a different one of your orifices earlier and put that back in. I, I didn't mean to recycle. Well, I, my regurgitation is kind of recycling, but that wasn't the kind of recycling I was looking for. Oh, no, no. You've improved over the years. The regurgitating has become more refined and and more of a, a streamlined jet of uh, vomit. Oh. Is, uh, oh, thank you. Thank you for noticing. I've tried very hard to, to regurgitate in a more streamlined oh, jet. What was just, just, uh, what the, did you know? Because my, my, my previous jet was very not streamlined. Oh, it wasn't at all. It was, oh, no. oh, no. Imagine just throwing a, a, a bucket of paint over a, over a dustbin and, the mess that ensues, that was your vomit. It was like a, a splatter fest at Burning mm. Man. Mm -hmm. Mm. That's basically your... Well, I mean, it's a shame to waste that good skill you have, given that you'll surely die any moment, um, leaving me to eat the... the di oh, uh, in the time we've been talking, uh, some other vultures of... Uh, Got in there and eaten. Oh no, no big deal. We can do what what we always do when when we get really really hungry and there is no meal. You don't remember either, do you? We're all gonna die. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> I, I'm sorry. I, I guess I'm just not interested so much in the soup today, darling. What's wrong? I've put in your favorite ingredients. Uh, one pinch of pepper, one pinch of salt, and one pinch of sugar for your sweetness. <laughs> No, it's just that, frankly, the three-pinch soup is, it's being served 
all the time. It's like when I was a child and I was constantly fed bologna sandwiches at a certain point, bologna no longer did it for me. And well, the three, the three pinch soup is it's old hat, darling, like oh. our relationship. Oh, well, I've been making you the three pinch soup all this time thinking you were, well, enjoying it. Oh, and I, I tried to make you think that I was enjoying it by pretending to enjoy it because I knew that you enjoyed me enjoying it. So it's like when you look at a mirror and you see someone's ass and then you see another mirror and another ass and, and then you put the two mirrors together and then you see an infinite number of asses instead of an infinite number of mirrors. It doesn't really make any sense. But somewhere in there, somewhere in there is a message, and I'm not exactly sure what I was trying to say. I think I know exactly what you're trying to say. <laughs> Do you? Yes. You don't want the free pinch soup anymore. You want it spiced up, perhaps with another pinch. You were almost there, darling, because, yes, I don't want the three pinch soup, <laughs> but I'm actually craving a, a bologna sandwich for some reason. Oh, your mother died years ago, and she only made the, the type that you loved, the, the type of bologna sandwich that was made with special, special love. And, and, that the, I grew to, and that I grew to hate because it was served all the time, but for some reason the hatred is gone. Perhaps it's been replaced by the hatred of the three-pinch soup. Well, I'll try my best to replicate the bologna sandwich. I... I Darling, darling, I realize that's not going to be enough. I not only need you to replicate the sandwich, I need you to be my mother. But your mother was a, a terrible woman with a, with a hunch and spoke in a horrible growly voice and her, her eyebrows, oh my God, her eyebrows. And she's dead. And she's dead. But I don't need her back in a dead version or all those bad things. I want just the memory of my mother that I remembered nicely. Well, there might not be much there for you to work with because she was quite the nasty lady, but. I, I mean, I, I, at the moment I'm just scanning every memory I have of her and it always ended up with her slamming the door in my face and angrily shouting. I, I don't know if there is a part of love that I can... Oh, hang on. I, I think I remember something. What do you remember? No, 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 no. You're remembering the part from the Aliens movie. Because that's clearly not my mother! No, I am your mother! <laughs> A lonely sandwich? And that's our show! <laughs> that's our show!